What's going on everyone? It's Brucey Sprue with a slightly different video for you all today. I recently hit 90 Slayer and thought it would be cool to do a loot video of the loot I received and the mobs that I killed from 90 to 91 Slayer in honor of unlocking Cerberus at 91. This took me probably a week total of doing nothing but Slayer. I probably could have done it a bit faster, but I was having a good time just relaxing, training Slayer, AFKing where I could, and I think sometimes it's good in this game to slow it down and not be worried about efficiency 100% of the time. Overall, I completed 24 tasks, and two of them were from Konar, and the rest were from Duradel. I did the Konar ones when I was on a multiple of 10. And my only restriction really was that no matter the task I got assigned, I had to do it. And if the task had a boss option, it wasn't necessary for me to do so. Unfortunately, Runelight did crash on me once at some point, and I lost the loot from three tasks. And those were Kurask, Blue Dragons, which I did in the Taverly Dungeon because I've done a lot of Vorkath recently, and a Vampire task that I killed Vire Sentinels for. If I had to estimate, I'd say I received about 1 to 2 mil from those three tasks alone, and I will add that on to the total GP earned at the end, or I'll, I'll work it in. As far as drops go, I picked up literally everything, but I will say I tried to bring the Bone Crusher and the Ash Sanctifier with me wherever I can to get the passive prayer experience, so that does affect the total loot. And I also do not sell the runes that I loot, so that will affect the price check at the end. But I have worked that in as well. I'll be going through the tasks alphabetically. So this isn't the order I completed them in. And I'm doing this just because it was easier for me to organize everything this way. I'll talk a little bit about each task, maybe how I did it, where I did it. And of course, show the loot from it. So let's get into it. The first task I actually did receive, despite me organizing the list alphabetically, was Abyssal Demons. I got that right at 90 Slayer, right when I started this journey, and I didn't feel like doing Sire to start it off. I actually didn't even feel like bursting them to start it off, so I just went into the catacombs and AFK'd them, and you can see there, 168 killed for 240k a GP total with most of the money coming from herbs, runes, and alcables. The next on the list here is going to be Aberrant Spectres. I canon these in the Gnome Stronghold Slayer Cave. Did 107 there for 187k GP, with obviously the most notable drops from them being the herbs. That's what they are known for, as well as a couple alcables, and I did get a Mystic Dark Row Bottom, but I've received a bunch of those, so it wasn't anything too special. The next on the list here is going to be Adamant Dragons. Normally a task I would skip, but I could not do that in this scenario, and only had to kill four for about 60k GP total. Most of the loot coming from the Adamant Bars that they drop every kill. Next on the list is going to be Basilisk Knights. I am over the drop rate for the jaw here, so I'm going to continue farming them until I get that. I do range them with either Dragon or Rune Knives, or if I'm not feeling that, just a Dragon Crossbow with Amethy Amethyst Broadbolts. And it's a long task, but it's it's pretty profitable, and it is good Slayer XP, and really I'm, I'm there for the jaw drop. But in this scenario, I, I didn't really have a, a choice. So 195 Basilisk Knights killed for 717k GP. Not bad. The next task on the list was one of my Konar tasks, and I was assigned Black Demons in the Chasm of Fire, which I had never gone to before. I'd never killed anything in there, and it was actually a little bit confusing for me to get down to the Black Demons and find them, but I was able to after a couple minutes, and I had 129 of those to kill, and that made me 175k GP and the most profitable items coming from the runes, the alcables, and the herbs they drop as well. Next on the list is Bloodveld. I started this task off in the Catacombs of Karend, but I realized that I had Sins of the Father done and I should just be cannoning them in the, the Mire Ditch dungeon. 
and that's what I moved to, and I highly recommend that if you guys have access to that area, if you have the quest Sins of the Father done. It is so much faster than doing them in the catacombs, and the new bow was not out at this time, so this was this was my bread and butter for Bloodveld here, just canning them in the mire ditch basement or dungeon and meleeing. So 206 of them killed for 348k GP total. Most of the money coming from the alcables they drop and of course the blood runes which they are known for. Next on the list is going to be red dragons and I did do a brutal red dragons for these. Had 34 of them to kill and made 429k GP. This is a task that I would bring the bone crusher to and you can see here the most profitable items being the red dragon hide that they drop and some alcables and runes as well. Next on the list is dark beasts. This was my first time killing dark beasts. Ooh, I got a nice medium clue scroll. This was my first time killing dark beasts and they were somewhat underwhelming but I just simply haven't killed enough to really make that statement so I only had to do 12 here and made an underwhelming 14.5 kgp uh, next on the list is going to be fossil iron wyverns and for these i like to do the spitting wyverns in the kind of slayer dungeon area on fossil island 31 of these assigned for a total of 186 kgp this is something i'd bring a bone crusher to as well and you can see there, I think it's a magic tree seed or a papaya tree seed or something, as well as five battle staffs, 15K, and just some other random stuff that they drop for a total of 186K GP. I also had another fossil iron wyvern task at some point, so I went back to do spinning wyverns again. This time I had 42 to kill and made a total of 225K GP with the highest items being the battle staffs, um, the air battle staffs that you can alk, rune ore, and also noted herbs and runes. Next on the list is going to be iron dragons. I was assigned 59 of those. This is something I'd bring a bone crusher to as well. And uh, the most notable drops from them being their bones as well as the iron bars that they drop. However, I don't always pick up the iron bars. Um, so I probably didn't get all of them. I definitely didn't get all of them But the most of my money from this task just comes from the alcables that they drop And next on the list I was assigned black dragons So I did decide to do KBD for this and just had 18 black dragons to kill So I did 18 KBD and made a total of 376 KGP with the most valuable items being the black dragon hide and the U logs from KBD, which is one of his more famous drops. He's kind of known for not giving you really as much money as you deserve there. And I do have a dragon hunter lance, so it makes all of the dragon tasks I have pretty much a breeze. Next on the list is going to be a Kraken. Nice 163 Kraken assigned, and I made a total of 3.26 mil. You can see there the best items being the battle staves, the sand few serums, the runes, and the coin drops. I got pretty lucky with the mystic robes here, um, but overall just, just regular kraken loot, a lot of runes, uh, some alkables, and um, yeah, that is it for kraken. Next on the list is going to be necreals. These I burst in the catacombs. And I do try and pick up all the, the drops that they have because a lot of what they have is, is valuable rune items. So I don't like to leave stuff laying on the ground. And I especially tried not to for this video. So I might have done, you know, a couple trips, whereas normally I would have just done one there and left um, some stuff on the ground. So 181 Necreals killed for a total of 1.03 mil made and the most valuable drops from them being all the alcables they drop as well as the high level runes. Next on the list is going to be skeletal wyverns. I was assigned 32 of these and made a total of 469 kgp. 
um, with the most valuable drops being the battle staves, the magic logs, as well as the adamant bars. Next on the list is my second <coughs> and final Konar task, and this was vampires in slep or sleep. And so I killed 151 there for a total of 511 kgp. I'd actually never killed vampires there before. It was actually super quick. I was able to, well, not super quick, but it was, it was, yeah, it was actually pretty fast. And I was able to be there for the entire task. So the most valuable items being the um, alcables that they drop as well as runes. And that is mostly it for them. And I did get a brimstone key here. And I got, I don't know what I got from that. It was something terrible. I think it was less than 10k loot for that. Uh, next on the list is going to be Steel Dragons. I do these in Karamja. I don't like going to the catacombs for them. And I just had 19 to kill and did 279k GP for the total loot from them. I did get a Dragon Plate Skirt, which is pretty rare. And the most valuable drops from them being the steel bars that they always drop, as well as a couple alcables, some runes, and Dragon Javelin Heads. Next on the list, I was assigned Vorkath, so I decided to do 35 Vorkath, and I made 4.26 mil from that task alone, with the most valuable drops being Vorkath's Bones, Dragon, Unfinished Dragon Darts, as well as Dragon Arrow Tips, and some runes, lots of alcables, lots of Dragon Hides, some coins, and I did get one Vorkath head, which is actually pretty low for me. I normally get spooned on those because I've received no other uniques from Vorkath so far. Next on the list was one of my two blue dragon tasks. This one I didn't lose. And I got 117 blue dragons, so I decided to do Vorkath for that. And I made 14 mil from that task alone. And again, the most valuable drops being Vorkat's bones, the superior dragon bones, as well as the unfinished dragon darts. A lot more alcables here, more dragon items, and obviously the dragon hide that Vork drops. And you can see down at the bottom there, I did pull seven heads in 117 kills. Next on the list is Water Fiends, and this was my first time killing Water Fiends. You have to go to the Ancient Caverns for them. I decided to range them because I saw Mr. No Sleep doing that in a video. I had never killed them before, and actually a fairly quick task. People were telling me that they were terrible. I really didn't mind them, and they have a fairly large drop table as well, so... 152 Water Fiends killed for a total of 475k GP with most of the GP coming from the runes that they drop, the alcables they drop, as well as the uncharged water orbs. And lastly on the list here, I was assigned Worms. So 145 Worms were killed for a total of 560k GP and I did get some dragon knives during this task. I think I received that one other time out of the, I don't know, 10 or 20 worm tasks that I've done, as well as four dragon daggers, which seemed kind of a spoon to me. And the most profitable items being those two dragon items that I just mentioned, as well as all the alchemals that worms have and all of the runes and herbs that they drop. So that is going to be it for all the tasks that I was assigned from 90 to 91 Slayer. And this did not include a Blue Dragon task, a Kuras task, and a Vampire task that I killed Vire Sentinels for. With all of the loot added up from just Rune Light alone, I would have made 30 mil, adding the 2 mil from those tasks that I lost the loot tracker from. However, most of my tasks were monsters that had runes on their drop table, and I was able to track the value of my mage tab going up and it went up about five to six mil just from the rune drops alone and this came out to be about 20 percent of the value of the total loot in rune drops that were not sold so that brings us to a total profit of around 25 mil just from 90 to 91 slayer 
as far as my max and grind goes, everyone, I have gained eight levels total in the last 11 days, with those being prayer, defense, I got a range level, an HP level. I got another defense level because I was trying to get my combats to base 90s here. And um, obviously the 91 Slayer level. And I did finish 80 Agility to help me off at Serb. And I was 100k away from 97 Fishing. So I finished that off as well. Putting me at a total level of 1960. Slayer has been doing wonders for my combat stats. My goal was to get base 90s and then max my strength, or my goal is to get base 90s, and now I'm going to max my strength to 99. Um, so that's going to be on the table as we go for 99 Slayer. I'm sure strength or hit points will probably be my first 99 unless I really focus on fishing, uh, which could happen. But I have made a small change to my maxing order. With Way of the Forester coming out later this year, I don't want to max woodcutting right after Slayer as I originally planned. And this also means not maxing fire making just yet either because I want to zero time as much of it as possible with the Infernal Axe. So, And I know I'm a long way from this, but once I have gotten 99 Slayer, instead of moving to 99 woodcutting and 99 fire making, I'm going to max my fishing if I haven't done so already because it's so close to 99 and then start on, <coughs> sorry, rune crafting and agility as originally planned. In my downtime, I'll be doing Temporos or maybe AFK and Karams if I can get around to it if I'm not totally focused on Slayer. And I promise you guys I will have at least 83 construction within the next week or so. Maybe even 84. The goal is to have 84 by the end of January because it really is that time where I need a max house. And at 82 construction, I do have everything I need except for the occult altar, the ornate pool, as well as the max jewelry box. With the pool and the altar being the main things that I really need. I think I may also spend a couple mil here and there on crafting and herb lore because I have some extra cash and I'm kind of tired of seeing those skills just sit where they are. But with all of that said, that is the loot video from 90 to 91 Slayer, everyone. If you made it this far, type Serb in the comments below because that is my next guide coming out very soon here. And as always, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care. Peace.